Good evening, and welcome to Having a Drink with Mink. I'm your host, as always, Jason Mink. I was just sitting here eating some store-brand pepperoni out of a bag, and, uh, well, I got a knock on the door. Fourteen pounds of comics. Whoever expects to get 14 pounds of comics in the mail? I don't know, maybe you do. I certainly don't. But this magnificent monolith uh, wrapped in uh, brown paper is uh, a gift from Stephen Butler. Does that name sound familiar to you? Well, it should. Stephen Butler is an American comics artist with an impressive CV. He's worked for Disney, Marvel, First, and Valiant Acclaim, as well as being the designer of the new look Archies. In 2019, Stephen and his daughter Lily produced Fiona McCool and the House of Ulster, a mythic tale of high adventure. More recently, Stevens produced Warrior Women of the Golden Age and a number of covers for Lady Death. Yowza! And so we have Stevens' package here, and, uh, well, I've been waiting to open this thing for days. I wanted to do it the right way, and I certainly didn't want to make any mistakes the first time because, well, there's uh, no going back on this one. Once we start, uh, we're all the way into it. So with the aid of uh, our good friend Stabby Joe, we're just going to make that first incision. That says so much. We're going to get her going in there. And then cut down the side. Okay, now I can see this is in a Dot Diamond Comics box. Show them the uh, thing there. Okay. Fragile. It's French, don't you know? All right, so we're going to open it uh, from the top, as you do. Uh, you may have noticed I'm joined by uh, my special guest tonight. This is Naked Woody Harrelson. Say hi, Naked Woody Harrelson. All right, and we're back, and uh, right on top of the package, we have Jason. As promised, here is your care package. Contains Stormile art and old comic book beater reader goodies. Hope you dig it. I just got to say, when I first stumbled onto your YouTube channel and watched your video on eerie pub covers, I felt like I had found a kindred soul. Your channel is a veritable treasure trove of all the things I like. Keep up the fantastic work. That is uh, so absolutely wonderful, Stephen. Thank you so much. Storm Owl Piece, inside package. Storm Owl Piece? Well, what's that all about? Well, uh, let me tell you, I've been talking to Steven for a while, and uh, he was nice enough to uh, whip up a little something for all you Storm Owl fans. That's right. All eight of you. And uh, also included yeah, is a uh, wonderful little Captain America sketch card. How cool is that? And that is fantastic. I salute you, Cap, and Steven, and uh, here it is, the big show for all you Storm Owl fans out there. That is right, and that is just uh, absolutely wonderful. I am over the moon to have this. Thank you so very much, Steven. This is epic, and uh, I'll be framing this, and it'll go up on the wall behind us. Don't you know? All right. Now, apparently there's something else in this box. <laughs> what could it be? Well, it would appear to be beta readers. That is right, folks. I'm going to pull these out of the box, and then we're going to come right back after this drink. <sighs> and we're back with stack number one. And... Giant Size Warwolf, number five, The Peril of Pain Gloss. That is right. I asked for him at your Sherwin-Williams store. 
pretty nifty. Gotta love those giant size comics. They uh, have some interesting original stories in them, as well as lots of lovely reprints. Then we have Chilling Adventures in Sorcery, as told by Sabrina! Holy smokes! Man, these are hard to come by. People really go for these. Uh, I know I do. Wow, thank you so much, Stephen. We have The Ultimate Cure, The Measure of a Monster, and Sunny's World. That's right. Wonder what happened to him after you broke up with Cher? It's all captured in this book. Then we have the Invincible Iron Man, number 80. And uh, here he is rocking his nose. That is right. And then here he is wondering where his nose went. You know, it's only been 24 issues. Must have been uh, quite the uh, startling change for him as well. Oh, wow. Here's one, huh? really know I'm all that familiar with. I'll pull this out of the bag so we can get a better look at it. It's an Iron Man fighting an army of doppelgangers, or doppelganger, if you are of the German persuasion. Then we have Giant Size Fantastic Four, number two. And, uh, wow, there's Ben. In a bit of a mood, huh? Man. Uh, Yance, Yancey Street Gang really wind him up, don't they? And then, all right, the two-gun kid, folks, in uh, The Revenge of the Rattler and The Panther. And then we have Turok. Oh, yeah, baby, it's a giant size comic, The Son of Stone. Lovely painted cover right there. There's another Turok. For all you Torok fans, a hidden cave leads Torok and Andar underground into a nightmare world of deadly albino men. Oh, they found Edgar Winter in his family. And then we have Archie's Super Teens. Oh, wow. Why not? Check that out. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Looks like a, an exciting new take on the concept. Then we have the Unknown Soldier. And uh, that's quite the striking Joe Hubert cover. Death Sub USN. And then, oh, sweet. Now, uh, I've been picking these up when I find them on the cheap. Because, uh, well, you know, I'm a cheap date. This is uh, number 38. This is one that I need. Uh, reprints of uh, Will Eisner's The Spirit. And these are by Kitchen Sink. And they're dynamite. They look fantastic. They look as though they were drawn yesterday. And then we have The Mighty Avengers. And Never Bug a Giant. That is right. And this is Giant Size Marvel Triple Action. Number one. And, uh, oh wow, here's Jan. We're wearing a very interesting little thing on her head there, uh, prefiguring the visions. Red Widow's Peak. Then it's Wonder Woman. And uh, the senses shattering quest for Cobra. You know, my senses have been shattered so many times, I'm really not sure that I could take another one, but thank you anyway, Wonder Woman. Hopefully she'll take this one for the team. And then what do we got? It's the Amazing Spider-Man. And uh, here it is. It's the showdown between Spidey, Hammerhead, and Doc Ock. And uh, as an extra added bonus, one of my all-time favorite advertisements for one of my all-time favorite action figures, it is, of course, Bullet Man, the human bullet. The action figure that falls apart pretty much as soon as you look at him. But he is pretty nifty otherwise. Then we have Uncle Scrooge. And then we have the amazing Spider-Man and the Black Cat. And uh, here we got them Spider Slayers. Boy, they've come a long way since being big, clumsy robots with J. Jonah's face in their bellies, huh? And then it's Superman. And uh, here he is getting an assist from Supergirl. And that's nice in her hot pants face. Can't go wrong there. All right. And then it's the Gun Master. And uh, with Bullet the Gun Boy... Sure, why not? What do the uh, welfare folks have to say about that? Doesn't matter, it's the Old West. That didn't exist yet. You gotta have as many kid sidekicks as you wanted. You were in the clear. Oh, and here he is. And uh, it's the Crossbow War. 
Oh, and check it out. You get to see the uh, nice little cutaways of the Gun Master's uh, weapons there. Wow, pretty far out. And then it's Namor. That's what appeared to be uh, from the John Byrne era of the book. Now, this was a bit on the contentious side, but I gotta say, some pretty nice artwork. And then here's a uh, Kyle Rayner giving it his best shot. Sorry, bud. Didn't work out. And then we got Claw, the Unconquered, and what a cover that is! Holy smokes! Next up, it's Superman. Oh, it looks like things have changed. Clark Kent, I'm so glad you finally realized that the world can get along without Superman. While a guy gets shot in the back. Oh yeah, but, you know, he's alright with it. And then we got Secrets of the Haunted House. Aww. I don't know what that is. At any rate, it's Secrets of the Haunted House. Apparently an orb has come out of this comic. Uh, do I dare drink my drink? Um, introducing Mr. E! Oh, wow, you know it, folks. It's a key. With Mr. E. And uh, then we've got Jonah Hex. I shot him fair and square. Ain't no way you're gonna make me fight you, Hex. Suit yourself, scum. On your knees or standing up. You're gonna die. Aha! Uh -huh. And then, hey, let's not be mean. There's no need to be mean. It's Buckaroo Banzai. And uh, this is number two. Uh, continuing the official comics adaptation of the spectacular new film. A little more Jonah Hex. <laughs> we come to give you a wedding present, Hex. And then some sweet Walter Simonson, uh, Thor. And uh, here he is, uh, rocking his chariot and his goats. I think a guy in the group was just asking about that the other day. And then we're moving on for some Conan. And, uh, here he is, fighting uh, one of those. And then a guy with a blue mohawk comes in. <laughs> Serious leather. We got Conan number 87 and the Stalkers of the Summit. And man, these uh, gals must have had some serious back problems from being on these covers because, uh, boy, they sure do get carried off a lot. And then we're moving on to pile number two. Or should I wait until another video? Nah, I don't want to do that. It's Forbidden Worlds. Great heavens, it's a creature not of this world. That is, oh dear lord. <laughs> yeah, but see, the thing is, back in the day, you could repair those creatures yourself. You didn't have to take them into the dealership, so they were so much better. Oh, yeah, man. Fog City Comics, baby. That is right, it is Rand Holmes. I absolutely love Rand Holmes' work, and uh, I've been dying to get a copy of this. Smiling Sammy Soft Tricks here with a few words about comics. Uh, this is amazing, man. Amazing. Then we have Jughead in The Hunger. And Jughead, you has turned into Werewolf. Should be fun. I haven't really kept up with uh, those... Uh, more contemporary Archie, so it'll be nice to get a look in. Then we have Howard Chaikin doing Buck Rogers. Oh, how did I miss that the first time? Then we got Dennis the Menace. And, uh, oh wow. I guess you couldn't call him Dennis the Little Bastard, huh? Dennis the Bound for Jail. You know, Dennis the Sociopath. None of those things were on the table. Menace was about as edgy as you could get. Uh, then we have the Mark of Cain. I read these about a month ago, and they are epic. Very, very cool. If you ever come across these books, well worth your time with uh, some very striking Howard Chaikin work inside. And then we got Huckleberry Hound. Oh, oh, kids, I'm coming apart. I'm coming apart, kids. That's all right. It's nothing a little Dino magic can't cure. 
And then, oh, very cool. We got uh, a nice little cutaway cover and uh, the very fun era of Lois Lane and an even a little bonus, a Bella Hess sticker, 14 cents. Anyone here ever shop at Bella Hess? Let us know in the comments section below. And then we got some Yogi. <laughs> nice one, boob. And then we have the Stooges. And uh, horrors, spooks galore, and of course, Joe Besser. You know it, that's right. You kids demanded him, and the Stooges listened. And then the close shaves of uh, Pauline Peril. Peril. And, uh, you know, I guess, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty close. And we got uh, some Donald action here, and... Uh, they're the kids, always innovating. You know, if they could just channel that energy into something less destructive and uh, less entertaining for us, I'm sure. And then we have uh, Smokey the Bear comics, Pervert Forest Fires. Oh, no, wait, Prevent first Forest Fires. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like this stuff has gone to my head. And then what do we have? Santa Slay. Oh, this is very topical. Nice. And it's a sugar and spike. Very cool. I can't wait to read this. I'll set that in my four Christmas pile. And then we got Jimmy Olsen. That is right. The Jolly Green DN Alien. And uh, this also has a Bella Hess sticker. 14 cents. So someone made Bella Hess their go-to place for... Uh, they're comic books, at least for a little while. Here's some more cutaways featuring uh, that very interesting era of Wonder Woman where uh, she had no powers. And then we have a very compelling Aquaman cover. All right, can I have a pound of chopped curry, please? And then Supergirl and the Demon Spawn. And, uh, oh, wow. That's pretty intense. Some nice Bob Oxner artwork. Oh, and check this out. It's Doll Man. That is right. And that is pretty epic. Oh, wow. Who is this dude? Oh, no, wait. Hold on. Now, we got a mystery on our hands here. Rusty Ryan. Oh, I think Captain America's lawyers are on the phone there, Rusty. Wow, that is... An incredibly blatant ripoff of Captain America's costume. All right. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to look into that one. And then it's the Secret Society of Supervillains. And this is always a nifty title. We got uh, Captain Comet here socking Hal Jordan on the jaw. And if you were there, you'd certainly remember the beginning of Nightfall. That is right. I think this is the prologue, because down here we're seeing that uh, next week, part one and part two, I hear Batman's going to get his back broken. He's never going to be able to come back from that. And then Blackhawk. Oh, this is cool. The Junk Heap Heroes. Uh, this is one that Blackhawks decided to up their game and uh, just ditch their identities and try and be crappy generic superheroes with predictable results. And then it's a spring ding. Some more Dennis. And then Walt Disney's The Littlest Outlaw. It's a heroic tale of a small boy and his horse. But which one's the outlaw? I guess I'll have to read the comic and find out. Oh, I don't have to. It's actually finished right here on the back. So, that saves me a couple minutes at the very least. And we're going to put a capper on things with this. Uh, many of you may be familiar with the Golden Age hero, Amazing Man. Well, did you know they brought him back? That is right. John Amon, Amazing Man, with art by Stephen Butler. And uh, this glorious trade reprints all of those stories and more. We have covers in here. We have uh, creator spotlights. We have uh, character spotlights. This is an epic book right here. And it has this wonderful finish. 
I gotta say, unlike a lot of uh, typical mass market trade paperbacks, this thing, uh, it's almost like a plastic, and so it will stand up to multiple readings. That is right. Uh, I'm certainly excited to tuck into it. How sharper than a dragon's tooth? I guess we'll find out. But wait! Wait! Hold on! There's even more! <laughs> because the box was so packed. We have uh, miniature men, trading cards. We have the year's best comics and stories featuring Ambush Man. We have the year's best team stories featuring the Titans. We even have this epic Space Hawk, Basil Wolverton mini booklet. I've never seen this before. There's even a word search. And I'm very excited to check these out. Lucy Hell, Devil Girl, limited edition artist cards. And I'll throw a few of these up in the credits section uh, after this uh, moment of uh, wishing you all the best. Thank you so much, Stephen. This was an amazing gift to receive in the mail. Really made my week, for sure. Uh, and we certainly have enough to look at for many a future breakfast. I'm Jason Mink. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm going to go and uh, make myself a fresh drink. But I hope to see you this Sunday at breakfast.